the Commodore. Is this a dog or is this a giant mop? Behold the Commodore, the dog with the heaviest fur in the canine world. That coat actually weighs 15 pounds and can be over 2,000 cords. These amazing dreadlocks didn't evolve so the Commodore could grace the cover of Beck's album Odelay. Nope, this livestock guarding dog developed its unique coat for camouflage. So it was kind of a sneaky way of having the dog hidden within the flock. When the wolf or the bear comes to eat a sheep, woo, comes out the Commodore and attacks it. According to folklore, the Commodore's flock protection efforts almost eliminated the wolf from Hungary, where this striking creature has been a working dog for hundreds of years. Over 3,000 years ago, the ancient Babylonian King Hammurabi mentioned the Commodore in the Code of Hammurabi, a series of laws that dictated almost all aspects of daily life. This is the Bob Marley of the dog world. The trademark of this muscular canine is its long corded white coat, which develops over the first two years of life. It is the most unique coat in the whole dog world. Commandoric, believe it or not, that's the plural of Commandor, have rectangular shaped bodies. And in the center of that white mop-like face is a feature that's always black, the Commandor's nose. Commandoric aren't for everyone. These dignified dogs require moderate daily exercise and are best suited to country settings without neighbors close by. Their protective instincts can make them wary of strangers. They have few genetic health problems probably because they descended from centuries of hardy working stock. Ironically, these large sturdy dogs boast excellent vision even though their eyes are often covered. How they see through all that hair, only they could tell you. Grooming these corded canines is another story. Commodores are one of the more difficult dogs to care for if you want them to have that traditional corded coat. You'll never have to brush those cords, but you will have to separate them regularly to prevent matting. And while Commodoric hardly shed, their dense coats are a magnet for insects and dirt. Because the Commodore was bred to work independently as a flock guardian, it can be willful and requires early training by an experienced owner. In a family, the Commodore is loyal and protective of children, but has little tolerance for teasing. To sum up, the Commodore has moderate exercise requirements and thrives in a rural environment. Its health is generally good, but grooming this heavy-coated canine is time-consuming and early training is a must to control the dog's independent streak. The Commodore is extremely protective, but few families can provide the home, time, or lifestyle to keep this breed satisfied.